Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the lead code question ugly numbers 2. So first I'm going to be explaining the logic behind solving the question and later I'm going to be implementing it using Python code. So let's just go over the question real quick. Write a program to find the nth ugly number. Ugly numbers are positive numbers whose prime factors only include 2, 3, and 5. Let's first try to understand what an ugly number actually is. So as per the definition in our question, it is a positive number whose prime factors only include 2, 3, and 5. So in other words, it's any number which consists of 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of y multiplied by 5 to the power of z. And these numbers x, y, and z can be anything equal to or greater than 0. So our smallest ugly number is going to be 2 to the power of 0 multiplied by 3 to the power of 0 multiplied by 5 to the power of 0 and that just equals to 1 into 1 into 1 and so that's 1. So let's just look at what other ugly numbers are there. Okay, so these are the first few ugly numbers. So we have 1 which is our smallest ugly number and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and notice how there's no 7 so it's 8 then 9, then 10, and then keeps going on. And here's the breakdown of how it's going to look, how it looks like uh, when you factorize it uh, with 2, 3, and 5. Now that we understand what an ugly number is, let's try to understand how, uh, different ways that we can use to solve this question. So the first way that I thought of is, to, uh, let's say to n equals 100. We're going to look at all the numbers starting from 0 all the way to 100. And we're going to check them across uh, these conditions uh, of whether its prime factors include 2, 3, and 5. But doing that is going to be very, it's going to take up a lot of time. So our next fastest option is to go through all of the ugly numbers which exist and uh, store them in some sort of list. And later, let's say, and uh, we're going to keep adding those numbers to the list. And uh, once the list reaches the length of the n value, that means that the last element is our answer. So that's a faster approach and that's what we're going to be doing. So to understand how that works, let me just draw you a quick table, uh, which will make it a lot easier. Okay, so over here we have our table and let's just go through what this actually means. So each row is going to have a multiplier. So the first row is going to have a multiplier of 2. The second row is going to have a multiplier of 3. And the third row has a multiplier of 5. Now, each column is going to have the element of the ugly number. So u1 corresponds to the first ugly number. So let's just write that throughout. Okay, so right now we go all the way up to u9. Previously we saw that the smallest ugly number is 1, and we know that. So we're going to start off with this number. Okay, so since our first ugly number is 1, we're going to put that as the first ugly number. So 1, 1, 1. And we're also going to add that to our list of ugly numbers. So the first ugly number is 1. Now, how do we find the second ugly number? So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to set out something called a pointer in this case. So the pointer is going to start off at u1 for everything. So I'm going to use the underline to represent a pointer. Now one more thing we have to do is we need to multiply this by 2. Everything in this row gets multiplied by 2. Everything in this row gets multiplied by 3. And the same way everything in this row gets multiplied by 5. So multiply by 3 and multiply by 5. And I'm just going to write it all over so you can understand. Okay, so now we have this and let's just go through what this actually means. So what we're going to do is first we're going to find out the value of each of these. So the value for this is 2, for this is 3, and for this it's 5. Now what we want to do is our ugly number is going to be the smallest value of the values of the pointers. So in this case we have 2, 3, and 5. So the smallest value is 2. So now we're going to add that to our ugly numbers. So we got the next ugly number as 2. And since we got the next ugly number as 2, we're going to write this 
in the second ugly number column. So write two, two, and two. And one more thing we need to do is, we're gonna cross this out. So I'm just gonna highlight it. And then we're gonna change the pointer location to the next number. So from for the x2, for by multiply by two, the pointer is gonna change to u2. So this is gonna become the pointer. But for x3 and uh, multiply by five, the pointer is still gonna stay the same. So now our next step is to compare the pointers uh, and find the smallest number. So we have two multiplied by two, which is four, three multiplied by one, three, and then five. So four, three, and five. The smallest number between four, three, and five is three. So what we're gonna do again is three is gonna become our next ugly number. We're gonna add that over here. And then we're gonna cross this out and change the pointer to the next element. So now the pointer is this, this, and this. So now let's do that again for U3. For U3, uh, sorry, uh, U4. So for U4, we need to look at all the three pointers. So we have four, we have six, and we have five. Again, this is, uh, this is the smallest. So uh, four, the value is four. So we're gonna add four to our ugly numbers cross this off, change the pointer to the next number, and then add four over here. So four, four, and four. So similarly for five, so you have six, six, and five. So over here, uh, five is the smallest number, so we're gonna cross that off, add five over here, uh, change the pointer to the next variable, and then we're gonna add five over here. So five, five, and five. So now let's look for the sixth element. So I, I'm sure you get the hang of this, but over here, uh, we're just gonna notice one thing. So in the sixth element, uh, we have three into two, six, two into three, six, and two into five, 10. So six is obviously the smallest number, but we have two sixes over here and over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross them both out. So we're gonna cross this one out and this one out, and we're gonna change the pointers for both of them. So the pointer changes to both of them and we add six to our ugly numbers and again we add it over here. So I'm sure you get it. Uh, I'll just go through this quickly so you can understand. Uh, so six, so eight, nine, and 10. Eight is the smallest. Okay, then we have 10, nine, and 10. So over here, nine is the smallest. Okay, then uh, for the ninth element, we have 10, 12, and 10. So again, we have two same numbers. So 10 is the smallest, so we're gonna remove this and this, and we're gonna change the pointers for both of them. And then 10, so add 10 to our ugly numbers, and 10. And we're gonna keep going on. So in this case, uh, what is the length? So these are the ugly numbers we have so far. So what is the length of uh, this list? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the length of this is nine. And what that means is the last element in this list, which is 10, corresponds to the ninth ugly number. So the ninth ugly number is equal to 10. So we're gonna use the same concept and we're gonna use it in our code to solve the question. So let's see how our code is gonna look like. Let's now look at the code implementation of solving this problem. Okay, so first we're gonna create a list called ugly numbers list, and this is gonna hold all of our ugly numbers. So we're gonna start off with the number one. Then we're gonna have three variables called two position, three position, and five position respect, uh, respectively. So, and in the beginning, they're all gonna start out with the value of zero. So we're starting out with zero because the first number that we're referencing to is going to be one. So we're gonna be referring to the zero with index of the ugly numbers list, which is why we started off with the initial value of zero for all three of them. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna put it inside of a while loop. So while the length of the ugly numbers list is less than n, because we know that when the length of the list becomes, uh, is the same as the value of n, 
that means that we've re the last element is equal to to the ugliest number and we're calling n over here because the first element of the ugliest number is actually the zeroth element uh, of the list so that's why we're just going all the way up to n okay what we're going to uh, do now is we're going to multiply this by 2 by 3 and then by 5 so this is same as multiplying it in the horizontal rows that we've seen so what we're going to so we're call the position so 2 position so in the beginning it's going to refer to position 0 so all of them are going to be 0 and it's going to refer to the number 1 so we're first going to do 1 into 2 then 1 into 3 and 1 into 5 later we're going to set uh, we're going to find the minimum of those three values which in the beginning is going to be 2 uh, so by 2 is going to be the minimum and since by 2 is the minim uh, uh, minimum we're going to add that value to our ugly numbers list and then we're also going to increase the position of uh, the, the 2 position by 1 okay then we're going to keep repeating this cycle and uh, notice how we're using if and not else if because the minimum value can be equal to more than just one of them. So the minimum value can equal to by two and by three, uh, as we've seen before. So that's why we're just using ifs and not else if. So we're gonna go through this while loop until the length is uh, equal to n. And then uh, once that happens, we're gonna exit out of that while loop. And then we're gonna return the last element of our ugly numbers list, because that's what's gonna be our answer. So I put the same code inside of leak code and uh, when I submitted it, it got accepted. So finally, do let me know if this video helped you out. And if you do know a better solution, don't, uh, don't forget to comment it down below. And finally, please like and subscribe if, you, if this video helped you.